I'm here to remind you that from Saturday, December 24th, Pink 60 will be bringing you some festive programmes looking back at the queer highlights of 2011, with guest presenters reminding us of what went on in the worlds of gay sport, cinema, politics and much more. So don't miss out, Pink 60 brings you the queer news that matters in one minute every day. Hello, I'm Ashley and here are today's headlines from Pink 60. A lesbian couple were first to share a dockside kiss when a naval ship returned home this week. Petty officers Gita and Snell were cheered by the crowd as they embraced when the ship docked after 80 days at sea. A Canadian research team has been given FDA approval to begin human HIV vaccine trials in the new year. The vaccine has been in development since 1987 and is the only research project of its type in Canada. A prisoner serving 10 years for murder has been sentenced to a further seven and a half years for attempting to murder another prisoner with whom he'd had a brief affair. Robert Livesey attempted to strangle Aaron Keenan but after breaking up with him the day before. The Australian Psychological Society says their research proves that legalising same-sex marriage benefits people emotionally. President Simon Crowe said the APS supports a full recognition of same-sex relationships. And finally, Meryl Streep's new role in The Iron Lady is being hailed as a triumph with two award nominations already preceding the inevitable nom Oscar nomination. You can see the film by lesbian director Felidia Lloyd in the new year. That's all from us today. Join us again tomorrow.